Um, and uh, gentleman yields. Uh, I now recognize Mr. Swalwell from California for his five minutes question. Congress, Mr. Yeah. Secretary, you want to respond to that? Can I take 20 seconds? Yep. To say that we are doing nothing is an absolute falsehood. We are taking it to the cartels. Do I think that nearly 58,000 fentanyl overdose deaths in 2020 are quote unquote justifiable? This department has worked to stop the trafficking of narcotics since its very inception. And we both know very well that the drug problem in this country requires a two-pronged approach to address the supply and to address the demand. And this fight continues, and we are taking it to the cartels in an unprecedented way. And Operation Blue Lotus that we launched in the middle of March is one powerful example of what we are doing to only increase our effort to address this scourge that is killing so many Americans. But to say that we are doing nothing is unequivocally false. Mr. Secretary, you oversee one of the largest uh, law enforcement personnel in America. Is it the position of the Biden administration to fund or defund the police? It is to fund the police. And does that include to also train them to catch the bad guys and also not to harm the good guys? Congressman, that is the um, sworn oath of officers. And you would agree that uh, unlike any time before in our history, police officers uh, are in danger today. They have a target on their back, violence committed against them. Uh, uh, Congressman, I know that uh, law enforcement officers are under tremendous uh, attack. Uh, the and do you think level that, go ahead, do you think anti-police rhetoric hurts morale or helps morale as you're trying to recruit people to be law enforcement officers? Congressman, it hurts morale, and that is why it is so important that law enforcement leaders uh, continue to communicate the nobility, the nobility of the law enforcement profession. I'm very proud uh, to say that. And does anti-police rhetoric put targets on the back of law enforcement for their safety? Uh, Congressman, uh, it does. That's why I'm disturbed about a recent tweet from the former president that says Republicans in Congress should defund the Department of Justice and the FBI. I'm also concerned about people on this committee and their own anti-police rhetoric. This is a defund the FBI campaign effort. Again, thousands of FBI agents who work hard every day to take bad guys off the streets. In fact, after the FBI raided Mar-a-Lago, someone armed to the teeth went to an FBI field office to try and kill FBI agents. I'm also concerned that the chairman of the Judiciary Committee invited a witness, when you could have any person who walks this earth as a chairman of a committee to come in and testify, the chairman of the Judiciary Committee invited the author of this tweet. Will the gentleman said, yield? F Will the gentleman us. yield? Will the gentleman Mr. yield? Chairman, Mr. Chairman, personal inquiry. Patrol he's, is interrupting he's not yielding. Not the gentleman yielding. is rec recognized. So it concerns me that there is this anti-police rhetoric that's happening among some in the MAGA Republican Party because they vote against police funding that was included in the COVID relief package. They vote against police reform efforts that would put millions of dollars in community police officers on our street. They vote and are against the union protections that allow them to collectively bargain. And as we honor the hundreds of January 6 officers who were hurt that day, too many of them gave comfort and aid at the DC jail. I also wanna ask, is anti-Semitism on the rise in America, Mr. Secretary? Congressman, yes it is. And are we seeing increases in violence toward Jewish Americans? Congressman, yes we are, and we are seeing that for other minority groups as well. And so when an influencer like Kanye West, who has millions uh, of followers on social media, says that he's gonna declare death con three on the Jews, do you think that increases threats to Jewish Americans or decreases threats? Words like that um, increase the threat to minority groups, Congressman. And that's why it surprises me that the chairman of the Judiciary Committee tweeted out, Kanye, Elon, Trump. Well, we know what Trump thinks about law enforcement and what is happening in law enforcement right now with targets on their back, but this tweet was kept up for months after Kanye West said that he was gonna declare death con three on the Jews. Mr. Secretary, do you believe that all of us have a responsibility 
to elevate our rhetoric and to denounce anti-Semitism and anti-police rhetoric in this country so that Jewish Americans and police officers can be safer? Congressman, I do. Thank you, and I yield back.